Buick carburetor. This one here's got the starter switch right there. I don't know what gear number it is, what year it is. Uh, I'll find out later. Let me look on the back and get the number. Let me see the video one. Number is 25, 2507S. This is a Buick, got the heat choke. We're running about 12 parts of air and one part of gas. We're going to switch it over to high pressure system and see how the flow holds up. Here we go to 9 pounds. Some of these things had a bad flow system and you switch them over the motor would die. This here looks like it's pretty good. Okay, you notice how when you accelerate it, the mixture thins out? That means it's 13, 14 parts of air to one part of gas. That's because of once you initially start this vehicle and go down the road, it doesn't require as much fuel to overcome inertia. Uh, let's see what else. We need a, we got a glass filter. You want three pounds of pressure for perfect operation. You hook your heat tube up on this thing right here, then you've got to set this choke to where it's just touching like that. And it won't work. They never did. We usually convert them over to electric. But in this case here, if the customer wants electric, we can convert it to electric. But we want to make it as original as possible. This is the one of the very rare ones but that we've had in recent years with the, with the starter switch. It works. When you, you start it and you step on the gas and it makes a complete circuit right through there and that starts it and if it doesn't start the first time of course it floods the motor like crazy we used to, I remember my my neighbor had a brand new one like that and in the winter time you, you didn't know whether it was flooded or not so that was a crappy setup so we used to unhook those things and put a push button on them okay we're gonna lift it off there we're done with our test and we're gonna put this up for sale it's a good unit it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the other ones